Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my DIY spot welder. Yeah. Right, so this video, the purpose of this video is to uh, show you uh, how this works. Okay, because I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they show you how to build, but they never show you how this works, how are the wirings are connected, which I believe is crucial because you're dealing with 240 volts of uh, power supply. Okay, no joke about that. So let's start from the power plug. Okay, from power plug, there's a 240 watt AC. Okay, therefore, there's no uh, concern on what's the positive or negative side of it. And uh, so, I've been before I talk about transformer, let's talk about the wiring connection. So, this over here, the green color one, okay, normally this is for the ground, normally and usually, which you must connect to the, the, the metal case of the transformer. Okay, basically, this is ground. You have to grind, I mean, just sand the surface on the screw here and then connect it to the casing of the transformer. Okay, then uh, now the other two wires, okay, the 240 watt, okay, there's no positive negative because if you know how AC works, okay. So the first wire goes to the left side of the timer, okay, this is, this is the relay, okay. This side is where the timer controls the switch, okay? Basically, your 240 watt comes in here, and then there's a switch over here, okay? When you press this, it will close the circuit, which passes current to this and create a shock and valve your batteries or whatever. So let's try pressing it, okay? And this is set to 0 0.2 seconds okay and then uh, so this is a 240 watt supply okay once the circuit is closed the switch is closed it will supply 240 watt to this side the first pin that comes to the transformer okay the primary coil of the transformer and then you go into the coil loop and comes out to this side, okay, the other side of the power supply, the 240 volt. So there's a fuse built in, okay, which is a good thing because uh, this is the whole thing, the wiring, whole wiring came from 800 watt uh, oven and uh, it's best, I mean, usually they, they come to your fuse, so if you have it, just use it. So let me repeat again the loop, okay. First, okay, let me do it in reverse. So first you come from the, the brown color side, go through the fuse and then into the primary coil, come out, then to here. If the switch is closed, first pin will connect to the second pin and then go back to here, okay? And uh, how do I power this timer is by supplying 240 volt to a uh, 12 watt step down, which means 240 watt go into this another transformer and uh, come to a uh, 12 watt. You can use any of such a uh, transformer or some called power supply, a 12, a 12 watt power supply that supply to this side of the timer. Okay, and uh, you have to be careful that there are many variations of this timer in the market. So I'll put the link in the description for, uh, from where I bought this, which is from Banggood. And even the diagram poster on their website is not the, I mean it's not correct to the spec of this in terms of the, the wiring. So as you can, see, let me show you. The middle one is the chop wood, and the first pin is the ground actually. So ground, then the middle one is 12 volt, then the third pin is actually the trigger. Okay, this is where you put the switch if you want to. Uh, you, you put a switch in between the third pin and the second pin, the middle pin. So when you press the switch, then it acts the same as this switch over here. Okay, and uh, I, I designed this case as well, you can find it on Thingiverse. Since this transformer is 800 watt, it's actually a little bit of uh, overpowered. So it's a must to have such timer that you can control down to uh, one tenth of a second. So let me show you the setting over here. Okay, this is timer on the function 10 and then 
you see I set it to this is this means this means uh, 0 0.2 second if I make it 0 and then okay if 10 means 1 second so so far for this transformer I started with uh, 0 0.2 second and so far it's just uh, good enough I mean strong enough on 0 0.3 second is good but it's still too overpowered and usually the spark is so strong that you can see it's like burning instead of welding okay so 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 second max for my model and then so how does this spot welder work is that uh, when you supply current to the primary coil at 240 volt and then uh, this is a very thick gauge of uh, copper wire okay so the electromagnetic created by the primary coil uh, create a current in this and uh, voltage wise is actually very low it's only about 1.3 watt based on my measurement so when current is created here and then when you create a shot here that's where you create the the valve okay shot create uh, the heat okay this i mean theoretically is 600 m which is a lot that's why it melts the nickel plate and your battery and uh, form and join them weld them together so this is how I make my welding jig here see just like that okay initially I want to put spring but looks like it's fine like that and uh, this is the battery pack I just created look at the very good weld this is using just 0 0.2 uh, second looks fine but actually it's very strong enough so that's all video about my DIY spot welder hope this helps to make you understand how this works and uh, please like and subscribe if you find this video useful I'll see you in another video thank you bye